Now our closer look at George P. Bush. He grabbed headlines back when he announced he was running for Texas land commissioner. The bilingual 38-year-old seen as a potential GOP star. But now it's questions about his dad, Jeb, that are popping up most on the campaign trail. Chief White House correspondent Jonathan Carl met up with him in College Station, Texas. I want to thank all of our candidates as well. Down in the heart of Texas, there's another George Bush running for office. George P. Bush has been immersed in politics about as long as he's been walking. I pledge allegiance. He was just to the 12 flag when he first took the stage of, the of a Republican States National America. Convention. Few have spoken at so many of them. The now 38. He finally has his own campaign bus. You've been drawn to politics for a long time. This is the first time you're actually running. That's right. You know, until you put your name on the side of a bus or a placard or on the ballot, it's a different level of sacrifice. And it's one that I take uh, very seriously. Now he's running to be a Texas land commissioner. But on the stump, his focus goes beyond Texas. This president is the one leading the war on women. And this Bush, whose mother is from Mexico, says he wants to broaden the Republican Party appeal to Hispanics and to young people and to moderates, too. Does that mean being pragmatic? Does that mean being willing to compromise with, with Democrats? I think it's, it's all of the above. At least in Texas, we work with Democrats. We work with Republicans of all stripes to make our state move forward. As land commissioner, he'll oversee millions of acres of oil and natural gas reserves. But he also talks about the need for renewable energy, and he attempts to stake out a middle ground on climate change. Well, sort of. How big a threat is uh, climate change to the Texas coastline? The Texas coastline is impacted by, by rising sea levels. Uh, and again, the question is whether or not that's, that's man-made, and I'll leave that to the scientists. But at least in Texas, uh, the facts show that on average about 17 feet of wet beach is lost um, due to coastal erosion. Which is so a huge problem for Texas. It's, it's a huge problem. But you don't doubt that human activity contributes to climate change? Well, we'll see in terms of the science, in terms of the, there's, there's a wide a range that has been discussed. And again, I'm not a scientist by any stretch, but everywhere from, you know, no impact at all to 100%. On the trail, there are constant reminders that he's in the family business. I voted for your grandfather. I All right. voted for your father. I'm voting for you. Excellent. There's the grandfather who was president and the uncle. And listen to what he told us about his father. So is your dad going to run for president? I think he's still assessing it. Do you think it's more than 50%, less than 50%? I think that it's, it's more than likely that he's giving this a serious thought and, mo and moving more forward. More than likely that he'll run? That he'll run. If you had asked me a few years back, I, I, I would have said it was less likely. So the family will be behind him 100%? The family will be behind him 100% uh, if he decides to do it. What about George P. himself? You don't grow up in this family without at least thinking about it, do you? You had to at some point think, yeah, maybe I'll be president someday. No, I have I Come actually. On. <laughs> I actually. I mean, even if I've had that thought. I mean, I, I even had my cabinet picked out, I think, when I was a teenager. <laughs> so you, you never once thought about I, I thought about being, being I, president? I, I thought about service, but I never really understood how it would manifest itself. I guess we'll have to take his word on that. For this week, Jonathan Carl, ABC News, College Station, Texas.